Hi, we'll continue coverage here at ISC, and I'm here with Bas Buga from Dimenko, the specialist of auto stereoscopic screens. Hi, Bas. Good morning. And you've got uh, some new displays here. It is an improvement over the original. What's the improvements? Correct. Yes, uh, we have um, behind me. We have a new 42 inch, a new 55 inch, and a new 23 inch. So we have a whole new uh, line of displays. Um, the primary improvement is the lens design. Uh, which is still based on the on the 28 views that we uh, that we that we have, but now with a optimized lens design, which gives you even a better picture performance in terms of pop out, in terms of viewing angle, and in terms of uh, picture quality. Also, uh, on top of that, the the quality of the underlying full HD panel has been improved, um, and therefore you get a better well. Uh, picture quality uh, uh, in general. Okay. So that's uh, that's all major improvements compared to the previous 52 inch that we had on the market. Okay. I mean, I've been just here for about half an hour, and it, it's amazing how these really grab people's attentions. I mean, there's a lot of displays around us here, and you just look around, and there's just so many. I mean, that's why I guess it's ideal for advertisers. And haven't you just done a, a, a survey or some kind of research with a university? Yes, that's correct. Um, because uh, um, often we uh, we are convinced that 3D has a real stopping power but if you talk to the major corporations and to the marketing managers they would like facts and figures to uh, to go along with that so uh, we teamed up with Red Bull uh, who is also very interested in this technology and we teamed up with the University of Tilburg with the marketing research uh, uh, department and we set up a, a test whereby we have the 23 inch um, display on top of a Red Bull cooler and we had the same configurations with a normal 2D display and then a cooler without a display. And with eye tracking software, we compared the attention value that people were having to the configuration. And it appeared that uh, with a 3D display, people watch 45% longer to the same content in 3D as in 2D content. So that's a major marketing value in there. And uh, on top of that, it's not only the attention value, but also people turned out to buy more Red Bull uh, while watching the advertising of Red Bull longer. Uh, so that has a real, yeah, a real marketing value. And yeah, for sure, we will uh, build upon this research further with Red Bull, but also with other companies. But why, why aren't we seeing these? If it's so fantastic, why aren't we seeing these in the London Underground or train stations? I mean, why? You know, we've got the HD panels now. Is this because they're very expensive or what? Yeah, that's a good question. I think uh, up till now, I mean, everybody was uh, was not was uh, had the wow factor. I mean, even look at it here right now. There are so many people watching. Uh, uh, watching the 3D screens and are amazed about the technology. Uh, I think uh, uh, there are two things why it's, it's, it's not yet, let's say, widely out. That's because um, um, the, uh, the content that goes along with that is not very widely available. That's changing very rapidly. A lot of content gets shot in stereo these days and, and that's, let's say, very suitable for, uh, for our displays. Um, and on top of that, I mean, uh, the Philips Corporation who developed this technology uh, discontinued the activities because display technology as a whole was not a core uh, value for them. And we picked that up and uh, yeah, have put these displays back in the market with a better performance uh, since mid last year. So right now we are back in the market and uh, um, um, we are confident that you will see these kind of displays in, uh, in the near future in, uh, let's say in, in larger quantities. And of course uh, there's companies now that will convert material into the t material suitable for these type of displays. You've got 28 views, why can't we have more views than that? Well, 20, 28 views is now the, the optimized lens design, which gives you a lens, which gives you a performance of uh, of uh, roughly 140 degrees viewing angle, and gives you a really nice uh, pop out. Uh, so what we uh, what we did is that with the 28 views, we uh, we solved uh, the the cone transition, so the the uh, the hindering let's say uh, um, um, uh, transitions between the different cones. That is well more or less solved right now with the 28 views, and uh, yeah, that's basically the right balance for the optimized performance so the 28 views is, uh, is, is in terms of that a real uh, uh, yeah real image improvement uh, uh, um, quality obviously you're losing the resolution and uh, to a certain extent and I understand that there are companies now looking at 4k uh, I think during CES or Domenko looking into this yes um, well we were looking into this already uh, two years ago so what we did is we developed prototypes for the uh, for uh, some major CE companies, uh, which already showcased that in uh, uh, let's say in in a, in a stand on IFA and on CES in uh, in the United States. 
Um, these 4K panels give you uh, roughly a full HD 3D resolution, uh, yeah, giving you a very crisp uh, uh, image. And <clears throat> the reason that is not fully out in the market yet is because the panel makers do not make a large quantity of 4K panels yet, and therefore these quantity these panels are relatively expensive to uh, uh, to apply in these products. So roughly 15 to 20 thousand euros, uh, sorry dollars for a um, for a larger screen panel, which is yeah a bit too expensive for the for the market yet. Final question then before we look at the video wall, go on tell everybody why Domenko are the best because you have got quite a few competitors now, right? Well, not a huge amount, but for a niche market, so I'll, I'll let you pitch your, uh, pitch your stall. Very good, <laughs> yes, I think uh, that's, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I think we have, uh, let's say, some really sound competitors, but where we are taking it to the, to the let's say, to the next step is on uh, picture quality. So our, um, our viewing, viewing angle is, um, is, is very good. Um, our um, uh, our well, picture quality, the colors are very good. Um, but even I think what is uh, uh, what is more important is that we have a very flexible content format. So with our displays, and we are really unique in the market with that, you can adjust the viewing distance uh, from roughly one meter up to eight meter, depending on the screen size. But that's adjustable. Uh, and on top of that, um, you can use the same content for different sizes of displays. So basically, once you created content, you can use it on any display in any uh, um, uh, position and uh, yeah that makes it very flexible and also very low cost in, in that sense so um, yeah that's I think that's one of the major benefits that we have.